Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in with this week's Queen Sugar. Hmm. I got a whole lot to say, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. I yeah, got to do please. the YouTube thing first, you know, because that's the way you grow your channel right here is if you have not hit that subscribe button, if you've been around here one, two, three, four times, and you keep going back searching my name to see if we come up, that means you're not subscribed. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and that way you'll be able to know when we get new video uploads. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and hit the bell. The bell will let you know that somebody's knocking at your door for your attention. That's us. Go ahead and do that. Yeah. And while you're at it, you might as well hit the thumbs up or thumbs down button. How you vote is on you, but at this point, you've already been counted. Right. So, get into it, buddy. This week's Queen Sugar gave it to us. Not as hard as it did last week, in my opinion, but at the end, oh, it was woo -woo. Yeah, it was a whole lot of fireworks woo -woo. going on there, Mike. Okay. So we start off the episode. We're not gonna go play by play. We're not gonna talk about everything, but we're gonna we're gonna set this thing up for you real pretty, and then we're just gonna boom drop you off the cliff. Hey, Ava has read the entire book, and according to Hollywood, she was up all night long doing it. He tried to stop her, but have you ever tried to stop a woman with doing what she wants to do? Boy, you ain't gonna stop on by from doing what she wanna do anyway. Period. <laughs> so this thing no got to her so bad. That she has her head in the toilet. And you know how it is when you have something on you so much that it starts affecting your body and you are sick. I mean, when you that stressed out? I mean, sick. Mm -hmm. So that's what Aunt Vi is. She had a hard time going into the diner, but she eventually got over to the diner and the devil himself shows up, was waiting for her at the diner. He came in and the sound of his voice. Put a pause in by step. Man, you thought she was saw a ghost, man. Well, she did see a ghost. She did see a ghost. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell did this man do to do her? her? Yeah. That the very sound of his voice was a trigger for yeah. her. Shook her. Like it shook her soul, man. So, once she realized that Jimmy Dale was back in town, she passed smooth out. Yup. Passed smooth out. When she came to, both of her men, <laughs> old dude <laughs> and, and new dude. dude, on each side of her. But before she could really get her bearings and realize what the hell was going on, Jimmy Dale had slipped on out. On the door. And at this time, Hollywood doesn't even know who this dude is. He basically thinks that he's just a... Uh, Someone that's Patreon Day um, restaurant. Yeah, just, yeah. And just slid through, slid out, you know, did his civic duty and slid out. Well, later on, um, I confessed to Hollywood that dude in the yellow shirt, <laughs> dude with the white beard, dude that's the, that's the president of the beard gang, that was Jimmy Dale. I don't know what the buck he back here for. After 30 years. But he's back. And Hollywood would say, oh, oh, okay, I'm... I'm going to handle this. Don't you even worry about it. That's why I rocks with Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Without hesitation. Oh, don't even worry about it. I got this. I got this. I got Okay. So later on in the episode, we see where old boy was sitting there eating his breakfast, having a good old time, reminiscing on the cooking that I used to do for him. And Hollywood slid right on in. And he was like, you know what? <laughs> You're not welcome here. You're not welcome at all. You know, Out of fact, you need to bounce. And if you don't want to catch these hands, suggest you pick your stuff up, pay for your skit first, then leave. Now, Hollywood did something that I ain't never heard nobody do. What he did? He not only told him to bounce, but he said, I followed this cat all the way to the interstate to make sure he was gone. I said... But I knew, I knew that was just smoke and mirrors right there. Very he, much so. Cause he, he, smoke and mirrors. He, 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 he went too easy, too passive, too calm. Yeah. For the dude that she told us about, that whooped her all the many years, he left a little too easy. I was like, nah. Mm-hmm. He so be we know. We know. So we're going to say that to the end, because that's the blow, right? So we have Micah. And you know, ever since Micah has come back home, him and his mom hasn't been vibing. Like, they really wasn't vibing before he left to go to Europe, but especially now they're not vibing. Well, Micah, he goes back to school. Kiki, I told y'all last week, uh -huh. Kiki is not with the skits. Okay, 
She yeah, like, she I like didn't even know him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she totally like her hell out of him. And he was like, what you're not going to do is act like you don't see me. We in the same school. You got to talk to me at some point. And she was like, you know what? I like you, Micah. But this right here. So this, this new thug lifestyle you trying to live? This new woke? <laughs> I'm not feeling all of this. You all, you're being problematic. This mm -hmm. ain't what I do. Exactly. And he was like, you know what? You know, I'm going to try to channel my anger in other ways. I'm never going to disrespect you. Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, he smoothed it over with her for the moment. But Kiki got her good eye on Micah. It's like, next time, look if you buck and I'm bouncing. So they end up going back over to the house. And Micah opens up the mail. Well, come to find out, Micah has gotten a death threat in the mail. I was like, oh, turn that into the police. Oh, you can't because the yeah. motherfuckers are crazy. They ain't, ain't going to do they nothing. They ain't going to do nothing anyway. He shows it to Charlie. And Charlie was like real, like, okay, I'll handle it. And I was like, in my mind, I said, oh, she don't dealt with this before because a mom. Yeah, she was too calm. She's too she calm. She was real calm. I yeah. said, okay. And, and we know how mom and, 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 and the, the boys, boys, you know. I thought she was gonna like just flip right out and just storm out the house and get in the car, down to the police or whatever, or go to somebody and fix this or make a call like she did on the book. So yeah, no. she was a little too calm. So I knew she had dealt with with this or something like this before. Well, lo and behold, because her and Micah already been having these run-ins because Micah ended up reading the book, and Micah was kind of like. Oh, so you paid Melinda money to um, shut her up and you did this. Kind of on this judgmental tip. Yeah, but he said, I, don't, I ain't being judgmental. But, yeah, but yeah. you but you questioned your mom about the stuff that she did. And basically, like Charlie was saying, you don't know all of the information. Yeah. I would have loved to talk to you about some of the decisions that I made because I'm trying to protect this family. But I didn't get the opportunity to do so. So, yes, I mean, basically, I did what I did. Yeah. And we all do that. You make a decision, the best decision you think it is for the time. Cause, and it could be a bucked up yeah, decision. Yeah, cause 20, hindsight is twenty twenty. So most times your decision you make, you don't really know the outcome going to be of it. But you just try to calculate everything. Mm -hmm. She was trying to make everything go away, get their life back peaceful, and keep it moving with her husband. I mean, she got bucked in the end, but yeah, she did She did what she thought was right at the time. Yeah. And yeah. I can only imagine Micah reading the book, reading <clears throat> with what his aunt Nova already said about his mom mm -hmm. being the oppressor, a person that's... At, that's pretty much a part of this rape culture you yeah. know and he's like so you paid this woman that my dad supposedly had raped you paid her to shut up because it was an image thing so he has all that going through his mind and charlie was like you know what michael say so you don't even know you don't even know and basically when the old people used to say you'll understand when you get a little older uh-huh so Micah's going back and forth with her about this letter was like, so you just gonna let this ride like this? And you know, I feel like I don't even know you anymore. I feel like I, our fight isn't the same fight anymore. Like what's going like on? Like we're two different people. She went in that file cabinet. I was like, man. And started slamming the letters. She slammed down about, about five to ten. Five, yeah, she slammed down a whole lot of death threat love. And then that, that what? Yeah. <laughs> death threat letters. So, that was a lot to say. <laughs> And he was like, what's that, mom? She was like, when you held that rally about the prison, boom, you got one then. When I did this, you got one then. I sent your tail to Europe to protect you. You had a whole security like you were a president around you, and you didn't even know it. Mm -hmm. I had you protected over there so that this yep. mess can calm down over here. I got another one when you hit the airport. I hit a, got another one when you hit the car, sir. I, you've been getting these. That don't mess him up, Mike. Let me protect you. Yep. I said, God, that messed him up, man. Him so up. what you think is happening is not it at all. But do you think that she was able to be strategically able to protect him that way for protecting Wes all the many years? Yes. I'm pretty sure yes. he got a whole lot of death threats from, you know, playing ball and mm -hmm. doing his thing. Because, yeah, she handled that thing good. She handled it like a professional. And I'm like, okay, you knew to send him to Paris. You knew who to contact to protect him in Paris. But what did they say in, I don't know if it was the last season or the season before this, Charlie is thoughtful. She is. She real thought. She, 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 she thinks like, everything she, through. Yeah, she like 10 steps ahead. You, you, you just coming up with a plan and she already got the solution. Uh, huh. Well, at least the solution for the minute, for the moment. <laughs> so we see Nova. She's having conversations with, I don't know if it was her editor. I don't know if it was a publishing company. I don't know who it was. But anyway, 
she's getting rave reviews about this goddamn book and she's happy as a june book mm -hmm. about it okay whatever i don't give a right to it yeah I, I, um she ends up sitting on panels and the people are giving her praise and asking her, you know, this book is helping my, me and my mom's relationship and how did it do for you? And Nova's basically got a lot because you can't tell these people that's praising you about your book and how it was making them and their family open up and start talking about their stuff mm -hmm. when it's really don't tow your family apart. Yep. But you can't tell them that because you still got to sell the book and sell the story and sell the dream and the hope that at the end of the book, Everything gonna be alright. But doing that part, I actually thought either Ralph Angel or Vaughn Thigh or one of them was gonna show up at the interview and be like, "Yeah, how's our relationship now? Huh? Tell the truth. Tell we the told truth, up. the devil. Yeah. So that's what I actually thought was gonna happen. That's what y'all should have wrote in there. But you know what would have been genius? Ooh, Ava, you should have called me. I could have gave you a way to make some money. <laughs> you know what would have been genius, bro? Is that while she was writing this. The storyline for this, right? Walk with me, y'all. Walk with me. I'm walking with you. While, while she's writing the storyline, why didn't a real book come out that Nova wrote mm -hmm. and she released them like on Amazon, chapter by chapter, based on where we are on the Queen Sugar um, timeline? Yo, oh, that would have been, yeah. Because all of us would have bought one. Man! Yeah, we would have bought one. And it would have been filling in a little bit of the gaps, little by little, of the stuff that just happened on the episode. So when you read the book, like this episode mm -hmm. right here, the chapter will come out for the last week's episode. Yeah. And you better fill in all the gaps. And oh, even not even that. Just just put the blood, the, the the blessings and blood on Amazon and let us read it so we can see what's going on in the book. I, uh, Cause you can't spoil it. Can't spoil it. This is one of those things that you got to you got to double it up. So it's, it's a piece by piece by it's piece. It's a piece, piece, piece by, by piece. Hey, look, hey, but when you do that and you hear this and you get that idea and y'all decide to do that. Man, this should have hey, been a real book. Y'all better remember us, Mike, because, hey, yeah. her idea. So that was, we would have, I like it. We would have been reading Nova's book. Yep. Right in the midst. So we would have so we would have read what on Val read about herself, what Ralph Angel read about his Man, self, what uh who you else need read, to pay me. what Hollywood read in the book when he was sitting in the office. So yeah, we'd be up to speed. We would know what was being said about Dollar. Yeah. Before Dollar even knows about mm -hmm. Cowboy. Because at this moment we only know what they read. They ain't really told they us ain't told all us what they said. Yeah. That's 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 brilliant, Mike. Man, that's you, why I like you, man. man no, no correction. Me. That's why I love you, man. man. And I appreciate you. God darn, man. Man, this, all right, we man, you a genius, man. Mike. Hey, well, you should have called me, man. Right, I got nice. my email, Daddy. Look, this, this, hey, look, it still ain't too late. Random TV reviews at gmail.com. It still ain't too late to put that on there, Mike. Man, this should have been real right here. Yeah. I mean, you would have had people coming from both angles. Mm-hmm. Woo! Yeah. All right. Don't even worry about it. But in a way. It's too late. Well, it's not too late. But anywho, uh, where we at? Uh, da, 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 da. Ralph Angel and his friend, which I keep forgetting the lady's name, the little cute girl with the natural haircut. They're out having a good little lunch once again. And... To my surprise, not to my surprise, but to my surprise, hmm. Ralph Angel's past don't really mean too much to her right now. Nah. She has ran him because he confessed to her. He said, you know, listen, before we get any closer or go too far with anything, I need to let you know that who you see now is not the guy I am yeah. on paper. And she said, I already ran you. She said, I know. Baby. I told y'all that. <laughs> I don't think that she'd already ran you. And she was like, yeah, I, this is my career and I have a daughter. I run folk. That's mm -hmm. what I do. Yep. And she said, I do believe that people can change and I don't believe you are who I read about. So exactly. I said, okay, I, I'm, I'm with it, but I'm still trying to figure out how is this going to play out in her field of work when yeah. everybody else. When her, yeah. When her colleagues or well, her boss start finding find out, out about yeah, it. Yeah. And maybe give her an ultimatum. Yeah. And which we know what she going to choose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause you don't know him like that yet. Yeah. So Charlie is having some issues with the Landrys once again, all over again. All over again. They They're basically ignoring the hell out of her. Not returning any phone calls. You know, the mama was supposed to be an ally of hers, right? The mama was supposed to be one of them people like, hey, I got your back. You scratched my back. I scratched. I, I ain't even a believer in the beginning. I don't trust none of them. No. But she went over there and she confronted Jacob because 
evidently Jacob has been sitting in on these meetings and her and Jacob are supposed to be on a level playing field when it comes to the shares that they have, da 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 yep. And they're not supposed to be invited to meetings. Jacob's been going. Jacob let her know, listen, my uncle don't, don't wrote up some stuff in the bylaws, which allows family members, even if you don't have enough shares, to come on into the meetings because we combine our shares and we all can sit at the table and listen to the information yeah. that's being told. And she was like, basically, bullshit. Bullshit. I'm yeah, sick of this. Yeah, y'all making these rules on the fly. And Yeah. But Jacob pretty much told her, listen, I can't talk to you in here the way I want to. Too many years, so meet me out back. And he was like, you know what? I can't tell you everything because at the end of the day, this is still my family. And I still got to live with them after I pissed them off to help you. Yeah. My mom is in D.C. Getting ready to do a new deal for Landry Enterprises. Can't tell you a whole lot about it. You don't piss a whole lot of people off like this guy doing prison. But uh, something's about to go down. Hmm. And she was like, what? He's like, I can't tell you he that. Said, and then some of the stuff he didn't know. Yeah. But and then he, I still don't know if I can trust him, though. I, I kind of. I Look, think he yeah. wants to do good. And I think that but, he likes but evil is present. But evil is present. And <laughs> evil is his family. He already yeah. said that. He was like, at least at the end of the day, you have a family that loves you. And I was like, but do they? Yeah. <laughs> but basically, this is all about greed, money, and blood. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if it's not any of those, what do I really have right here? My family don't really rock with me like that. He pretty much grew up like the um, like the Malones. Yeah. On oh, having to have nice song. Um, well, what's the name? The Mitch and Mitch, Mitch, the grandma. Ain't, Mitch ain't want to be like his family. Yeah. So basically, he had to start um, driving tow trucks. In order to survive, because family was like, if you're not going to be in the mob business, then I don't really have nothing to do with you. So one of the workers over there on the farm, he got um, really sick. Old boy ran up to Ralph Angel, was like, Ralph Angel, you know, he, he basically Ralph Angel said, slow down. He's sick. He's, he's sick. He's sick. So at that time, Ralph Angel was having a conversation with Prosper, right? He was telling Prosper, he was like, everything is really messed up right now, Mr. Prosper. He was like, I got a good harvest going on, but I got the stuff going on with my with Nova and writing stuff about the book. She ran and stirred up trouble. And <laughs> Prosper was like, well, you know, what kind of trouble? He was like, about, you know, I'm not being Blue's biological father. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Prosper let him in on some, on some tea of his own. And he said, you know what? That doesn't matter. He was like, I found out that my daddy wasn't my real daddy when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. He said, buddy, I love that man. Yeah, I didn't care. And I didn't care. He wasn't my father, but he sure enough was my daddy. Yeah. And he said, at the end of the day, that's what Blue, that's how Blue is going to view you. He doesn't yeah. care about any of that. Yeah. You are that boy's father. You are his daddy. So that kind of put Ralph Angel in a space. I said, like, that guy don't prosper know what to say, when to say it, and how to say it. But every single time. But how about <laughs> that? Prosper said, is there anything I, I should know? Be, I should be worried about with that book? Well, we already said, and our, you know, our family in the comments, they all say the same thing. He Prosper better not be in that book. And the thing is, if he is in the book, it better be all positive. Mm -hmm. So the worker that was sick, he's not able to go to the doctor because he's undocumented. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So... Ralph Angel's trying to figure that whole situation out. And Charlie told him, say, you know what? I may have a solution. And I said, who, who you got in the pocket that can come on out here? It, Ramiro. Yeah. So I Ramiro mean, came. I he was a nurse. Yeah. So he came out there. He checked out on old boy. And him and Charlie ended up going out for lunch. And, you know, he's telling Charlie, he was like, you know what? I'm so glad that your brother cares about his workers that are out there in the field. Because there's a lot of people that don't care anything about these workers. Work them half to death. I've seen some really bad things. And I was like, what are you talking about? He said, i seen an incident. I heard about an incident on the farm where immigrants was dying out there in the field because the workers wouldn't let them go home um, early so that they can make it to the bus and mm -hmm. get out of there. And Charlie was like, because you know that was her call. Yeah. You remember that? Uh -huh. That them workers died on her watch because she wanted them to stay and to finish harvest. Mm -hmm. So he was like, you know, there's some people that don't have a heart for these people. So in that moment, you saw Charlie's wheels turning. Yeah. And Ramiro was like, I would love to do much more for these people, but we don't have the space. There's nothing that we can do and we need a facility money. that's off the road. Da, da, da. And she was yeah. like, so, you know, this is her time to, to redeem herself in her mind from that guilt that she's carrying about that. <laughs> and she told him, she said, I have an idea. I have this space in the back of the mill. It's empty. 
It's all yours. It's all yours. You need to do what you gotta do. And he was just He's like, like nah. He said, you play for that nation, man. Yeah, you eat shit. She said, <laughs> I, I got it. I so got it. Hey, that's you. gonna be the next step. So over there, Ralph Angel went over there to talk to Dollar. You know, told um, told Dollar, listen, let, let's sit down here right now, right now. Nova wrote some skit in her book, and the skit that she wrote in the book was about me not being Blue's biological father. Now, let's get down on me. <laughs> so she's getting all upset. And the first thing I'm trying with Dolly, y'all know I am. I ain't said nothing really bad about her all season. Nah. But the first thing that she wants to talk about is, did she write anything about me in the book? <laughs> Don't nobody give a buck about you right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> it's about your son right now. Uh -huh. Then we worry about you next. So she was like, oh, did did she? And Ralph was like, I don't know. After yeah, I read the part yeah, about, about blue, 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 I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I, I pretty much faded to black. I don't know if he if she wrote anything about your story or not. But what we need to do right now, I think it's time. I think it's time to sit down and tell Blue that I said, no, no, no. It's, I don't think it is the time, to be yeah. honest. I don't, I don't. I mean, that's not my call, but at this moment, I don't think you should be pressured to get in front of it right now. Yeah, because I, I don't think he understands at this point. I mean, he understands, but But don't, not to the point where... Be like, okay, so you're not my daddy. Well, who, who, is, is, my, yeah. who is my daddy? Where he at? Can we get in touch with him? So you kind of open up a whole other can yeah. of worms that you got to worry about. So yeah, me... Because Blue, what? He 9, 10? I don't think he that old. Uh, he pretty... So, so yeah. So I don't know if they actually had the conversation with but Blue so or not. But you don't have kids, so maybe y'all who have children, if that was your son, would if you have kids, do you think it's the right time? Yeah, answer that in the yeah. comments. Do you, do you think, think it's the right, it's time, right time for the way in? To and, tell Blue? Yeah. And the only reason I say that is I don't think Blue has been prepared for this. And I don't think the parents have been prepared in the right steps to actually give him this information. They're in a position where they feel pressured to do so. Yeah, and I think if you don't handle it exactly the way it needs to be handled, it can go so left. So I think they need to take time to be coached through this of the right way to do it and the right words to use with this boy. Yeah. In order to do so. And Blue is, is like He's super so smart. smart. He's super smart. So he going to ask all the right questions. Hello. So, yeah, he going to ask the right questions. And, and you he, get and hung he, up if you yeah, want. Yeah, and he not going to take you being like, I don't know, uh, let me give back So to how you. did this happen? Yeah, how did this happen? When did it happen? Where where were you guys at? So, Mom, why don't you know who my dad that is? That is, yeah. So, where, were, where you, were you that irresponsible, Mom? Oh, God. <laughs> like, God, God, God. God. That's the kind of stuff that he was saying. And he'd be like, forget this. I'm going back to work. I'm going to Blue's Corner right now. I don't have time for Say, first y'all lost my, my dog. Now y'all lost my daddy? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? That's what blue. That's how blue come up. No, your dog wasn't missing. Your mama murdered. Exactly. Then yup. Then he was say yup. He probably said right back. So what really happened to my dog? Cause I can't believe skit y'all say. Yeah. But anywho, so over there on Vi house, right? Cause earlier in the episode we had learned, you know, Aunt Vi had sent a message to Nova. You come see me, or I'm gonna come see you. But we need to see each other. She I, don't, you she don't want I, me to come down to the night ward. Because I will. I said, I said oh. God, don't. Okay. So, she's at the house. And she's twiddling around with some things. Now, at this time, we think that Jimmy Dale has hit the interstate and he gone on the Timbuktu. Well, there's a knock on the door. And I said, okay, everybody else just comes in this house. Who else would it be? But Jimmy got real. Jimmy wants to stay. Jimmy wants a piece of your chocolate cake. Jimmy there. <laughs> she opens up the door. And it was like when she laid eyes on this man, he had this power over her. I mean, she, like, she instantly was hypnotized. Yeah, man. and I was instantly. like, and she, he was like, well, hey, sweet thing. Why don't she you go like, ahead and let me in? And I'm like, blink, do something. Right, say, uh. Don't look him in his eyes like Rihanna. Don't look at her in her eyes. She got See, you. She had she had a freaking uh what's the what's the move with the with the tin the teacup? Oh, uh, uh, get out, get out. That's where she looked. She went I she went so. quickly into the something place. So eventually she let him come in. He said he wanted to talk. He wanted to talk about some things of the past, and he wanted to check on her, see how she was doing. I said, Unvi, why in the hell are you letting this man in your house? Yeah, when she opened the door, I was like, I said. 
a whole lot of things that can happen. He can attack you again. Yep. You're um, there by yourself. You're there by yourself. And then your husband can walk in and it will look way, way off. Like, okay, I went and did all this, sit this cat away. He come back over here. Now you got him in. Y'all, he's sitting there talking, drinking tea, acting like ain't nothing going on. What's up? What's up? What's going on for real? So he's sitting in there. And earlier, we had saw where uh, Bob was looking in that little, um, we call it a jury chest. Looking in there and she, that hospital bracelet came up again. Now, this is my thought on it. I'm thinking that Jimmy Dale beat a baby out of Arvai. Oh, and I'm going to tell you why but I think that. One, the bracelet was pink. I've never known a hospital to give you colors unless there was something that it really needed to signify. I don't know how to signify, but um, okay, so he gets in the house and it was one of those things where it's like, have you really changed? Why are you here? Mm -hmm. And he's basically telling her, oh, the house looks the same. You Still just, feel like my house. Like, yeah, what? you just did a did some few things. I miss your cooking and you you sweet cakes. You still and age has done you well. I mean, just so inappropriate. Um, it was a lot. And then then gonna end up freaking attacking Hollywood. Tell me he ain't no real man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, come on, you don't even know him. Talking about her both thing. Yeah. Now that's when you. That's, that's when, when he really should have hit the door. Talking about some, what kind of man? No, he ain't no man. He, he a boy. boy. Boy named Hollywood. What? That's so a you, dream. So you over here with a boy now? And you want nothing but Ernest's sweet, little sassy sister? Okay. Nova ends up coming in, in the middle of Aunt Vi having enough of Jimmy Dale in the house. And Aunt Nova was like, Jimmy Dale. And he said, what you doing here? Well, nice to see you again, Nova. Say again? Oh. Well, come find out. I said, don't let her and went over there and interview this mug for that goddamn buck. So before we even get there, Jimmy Dale was still trying to do his skit. And he ended up getting ready to try to ruffle up on on Vi again. And he went to touch her, but he went to her stomach. Yeah. It wasn't that he pinched a butt. It wasn't that he felt on a boob. It wasn't any of that. He went and rubbed on her stomach, which is so unnatural for a man to do. So that's why I said. You think it was a baby? There was a baby that he beat the hell out of her. Hmm. Literally. And that's what he keep referring to. I took something from you that you can't ever get back. Okay. Hmm. So when he went to do that. Our vibe clicked off. Yep. She started beating him. Nova, Nova started, started beating him. And they were beating him all the way out the front door. And when they beat him out the front door, they passed him right off to Hollywood. Hollywood, Hollywood was like, didn't I tell, tell you? And didn't I send you over to the state line? Hollywood beat him so beat bad. Beat the brace off that joker, man. Listen. He, Hollywood told you he was going to, he was, you were going to catch these hands. You didn't believe him? Homeboy had mud all on the left side of his yellow shirt. All on the back side of the shirt. All on his pants. <laughs> and he gets up and put that hat on like it's just going to make the outfit come back together. And then he going to look at Vi and he said, well, I came back here to apologize. No, you I didn't. I came back no, here to make things right. But I did. I ain't I doing nothing. Do I don't care. I, I'm glad all that stuff happened to you. And that's the truth right there. Mm -hmm. And he because said... He told her, he said, and I tried to make you a wife, but you ain't nothing but Ernest's savage sister. That's the truth. That's the real Jimmy Dale. Because the truth comes out of you when you're squeezed. And that's when he got squeezed with Hollywood's two-piece biscuits, man. And the truth really came out. He ain't come back there and apologize no. and try to make nothing. He came right. back here to rumble up, ruffle up some feathers exactly. that he did. Exactly. That's exactly what he did. So in the house. Now that on by and all of them back in the house Ooh. and she's bandaging up Hollywood's hands because he don't he don't basically gave it to him, right? And she said, Okay. What's the real story? What happened? Well, come to find out, Nova went and visited Jimmy Dale. And the logic that she 
talking about some. She wanted to get both sides of the story for her book because it would be unfair to put a story in there when it was only given to her by half of the parties involved. So in other words, what you're saying, you didn't believe what your aunt Vi told you about this man. She told you how dangerous this man was in her life. And you went to the enemy to ask the enemy the side of the story like he going to tell you the truth. Then she said Why would he this. tell you the truth? She said, when I realized he was just as bad as you said, I, that's why I left his story out the book. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, winch. So you mean to tell me that his side of the story didn't get told, but you put all your family's business out yeah. there? So basically, at the end of the day, did you realize that you still protected him? Yep. But you ain't tell his side of put him in the book? Okay. But you... I want to say the word respect because this is the only way that I can work around this. You basically gave this man more respect than you mm -hmm. gave your own family. Mm -hmm. You told him that you were getting ready to write a book and that you needed to hear his side of the thing of things. But you never even gave your family the opportunity to explain yeah. some of the things that you put in the book about mm -hmm. them. But because you, you knew. Got alone their permission. Because you knew. Right. Yeah. Because okay. you, you knew they were going to let you do it. I said, no, she didn't. And she tried to explain it away and told Aunt Vi that I wanted to celebrate your strength. But that's not what you wrote in the book. Nah, that ain't what you wrote in the book. You wrote in the book that what she had wasn't strength at all. Mm hmm. That she was weak. That she was a weak woman. She appeared to be strong, but she's weak. I don't disagree with all of that. But anyway. Um. Because in some areas, she she did seem strong when she was weak. But, okay. Sorry. But we can see she weak when it comes down to Jim Dale. She's still weak there. Oh, yeah. yeah we she's saw still, that. She's still weak there. And Vi says, you know what, Nova? Girl, you have done a lot in your day. <laughs> you have done a lot. And your daddy would be disappointed in you. He'd be ashamed of you. And she said, your mama? Your mama would do what I'm about to do. She said, I want you to leave. I want you to leave this house. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you today, tomorrow, tomorrow. 10 years from now. I don't want Never. you to bring flowers to my, my grave. grave. I was like, no! I said, Sean. <laughs> so now I don't even want you to come to my funeral. I said, well, hey, love I. But what made it more, even more harder than that, don't you ever come back to this house. Because this is where all the family meets at, is at on buys. That's where they had the cookout set. That's where they eat the crabs, drink the beer, have the little get togethers. Where you burn incense, smoke your Every, weed. Everybody get to come back over there except for you. She said, I do not want you disrupting my peace ever again. Leave this house. Wow. I said, and that carried a whole lot of weight. You could see, you could see freaking Woo! Nova Soul broke, broke. But I felt this bad for her. I felt a little bad, but at the same time, that's the consequences. It. It's the consequences. You did it. And you know what? You know what's gonna end up happening. This is what's gonna end up happening. She's gonna take that booze, get back to them freaking publishers of that book, and they're gonna say that's the price that you gotta pay in order to be a successful author. And that's booze get. You can't come up off somebody Hashtag else's story. no boy. Hashtag no boy. You can't come up off nobody else's story and their pain like that without their permission. Nova is, there's a um, scripture in the Bible that says, what does it profit a man to gain a whole wide world, world to lose his soul? And so we can rewrite that scripture. What profits a man to, to, lose write, his whole to write a book about his family <laughs> and lose his whole family? And lose his whole family. That's basically where Nova is. The only person that Nova has right now is possibly Micah and the weed dealer. What her name is? Oh, too sweet. No, not too, too sweet. The other guy that um she was smoking weed with last week. Yeah, that's too sweet. No, no, that's no, 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 that's too sweet. That's um. I can't no. think of his name. Them the no. only people that she really has right now. Yeah, but the question is, is he in the book and he don't know it? Woo! Oh, man. What if she put his business out there? 
No, yeah. because putting his business out there was be putting her business out well, there. Well, she did she say, but she did say she put her about selling that, selling that weed to Too Short and Too Sweet and got him locked. I keep on saying Too Short. <laughs> too Sweet and got him locked up. So what makes her not tell the story about this dude? I hope not because she let, asked, cause she told him, I need you support. I need your support right now. Let me t you, you know how it goes. I'm going to tell a story. I'm going to tell yours with no filter. But mine, I'm going to put a Snapchat filter on Oh, mine. yeah. I'm going to make I'm, it I'm real pretty. And I'm going to make it flawless. So see, you can receive it. See, look, this is, see, see. If you show the weed and got locked up, yeah, she sold the weed. She got locked up. She was weak. She know what she was doing. Mm -hmm. She's out in these streets. She was inexperienced. But see what happened. I sold the weed. See, he came to me, told me he had glaucoma. And so, I, you know, I prescribed it to him as a medicine. <laughs> so he can see. And yeah, so Your that, Honor, I'm sorry. Yeah, so I'm I'm sorry. That's you know, I had purpose. <laughs> I know I was wrong. But That's how she talked to. Good. Yeah, my heart was in the right place. But my heart was good. Yeah, my heart was pure. Yeah, yeah. Well, my actions was wrong, but my heart was in the right place. Nova left off that step, and she was so broken. Yup. It was one of those things where, literally, her soul was in her throat. I believe she acted her tail off. I ain't even yeah, gonna lie. Yeah, she, I believe you two things is gonna happen right here at this point. Either she's gonna go back and she's gonna actually make them renege the book and she's gonna be probably stuck with late. this huge with this huge fine. At least showing that she's trying to retract back what she did, which is is kind of too late because in That's print. So if it's in print, it hasn't been distributed to the stores for sale yet. So if she can get a stop right there, so either she's going to do that and have to pay the consequences of what's in the contract, which is probably going to be a hefty fine because they've been pushing the hell out of this book, or she's going to go forward and live a life by herself in her success, which is going to hurt even worse. But somebody has said in our comments, they said at this point, the only thing that's going to bring this family back together is a major tragedy. And that's sad. But I'm going to be honest with you, I think that's the only thing. That will make them accept Nova back yeah. temporarily. Yeah, because they'll forget about it. They're Tracy, not going to forget, but they, it'll make, you, yeah, it'll it'll make yeah. you want to bring your loved ones close for that moment. Yeah, because only tragedy can do that. And sometimes, it, yeah, yeah, and sometimes it do turn around. They'll be like, you know what? This right here that happened right here with this tragedy is, is worse than Nova putting our book out, this book out here. So mm -hmm. maybe we can forgive them. But not I don't if you call me to your pretzel. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Yeah, because I, I told you, I was like, I just told, I thought about a few of my aunts and, and, and some special people in my life was to say something like that to me, man. I, I mean, my soul would have been gone. Man. Yeah. I can't come back. To, just, just imagine that. I can't somebody, come to your funeral. Yeah, somebody that carries that much weight in your life as on by carried in um, Nova's life told you that. So I wonder, I mean, really, did, did Aunt Vi really have that much weight in her life that she did that? Especially she know how Aunt Vi is. And you know how she is about her secrets. And then I was, um, I was in, um, on Facebook, right? And somebody had wrote a think piece about it. And they was like, they were so glad that Nova wrote the book because they're so sick of black family secrets. And there was a lot of validity to a whole bunch of the stuff that she was saying. But here is the kicker. Mm -hmm. Some secrets aren't yours to tell. Tell, exactly. You can only tell things that happened to you. You. And directly impacted you. Exactly. You can't tell anybody else's truth. Exactly. You can't because yeah. you don't know everything. You don't know all of the variables that went into mm -hmm. the decisions and the consequences. All of it. You don't know. Yeah. So... Yes, I come on now. We black. Yeah, cause just like you we're said, we're sick of family secrets. Yeah. Come on with it. Now, if Aunt Vi and all them did something to her that affected her in and a way, that's yeah, your truth to yeah, tell. she can put it out. She can put it out there, then. But yeah, none of that had anything. To do yeah, with her. that's their business. Yeah, that's all it is. And they that's for them you. to work through. And look at Dollar's situation. Although we give Dollar hell, Dollar is in a critical point in her life and her sobriety mm -hmm. have you even thought about the fact that this girl yeah and she won't know what around at this time of all this stuff going down well she told her business too yep told what, her business too what if she relapses 
But what if you triggered unbiased um, illness to a point where she can't bounce back? Mm -hmm. What if you forever alter your nephew and his mother's relationship based mm -hmm. on the stuff that you said about her? Or Michael and, and Charlie. That's what I'm talking about, your nephew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, yeah. But I still, at the end of this show, um, and we couldn't see because we, we recorded it and it cut off. She saw somebody in the yard. Digging a grave. Digging a, look like a grave. So I don't know what the hell, I don't know if what she saw really fire her up to write this book. Because maybe there is a secret that really is affecting her. And this is like, this is her redemption to get uh -huh. free from whatever it is. So that's that just a thought. But somebody was out there burning a goddamn big hole. I and she was saw, it her mama? I, it looked like a man. Oh, no, but what, maybe what, it was what, the mom. Maybe the mom. Oh. And it could have been Jim and Dale digging that hole. We don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know, man. Straight from the VA. <laughs> dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.